What would happen if our sun suddenly stopped shining? What if it just simply turned off? No more light, no more heat. What would happen to the earth, to our civilization, to life on this planet, to us? For the first eight minutes and 20 seconds, no one on earth would even notice. That's how long it takes for light to travel from the sun to our planet. For that short window of time, birds would still sing, trees would sway gently in the breeze and children would continue to chase each other on the playground. But the countdown would have begun. The very last photon of light is about to reach Earth's surface. When the last one strikes the Earth, the sky would go black instantly. Not a slow fade, but rather one second there's light, the next one, blackness. Adding to the terror would be the moon as it vanishes from the sky. The planets would disappear from our sight, but the stars, on the other hand, would shine eerily bright, made brighter by the disappearance of our sun's brilliant glow. But the stars would offer no comfort. For the first time in recorded history, the Earth would have no sunrise and no more sunsets. Temperatures wouldn't drop right away, thanks to Earth's atmosphere and oceans acting as thermal blankets. But the temperature would begin to fall, slowly. Within a week, average surface temperatures would plunge below freezing. Within a year, temperatures would reach minus 70 degrees Celsius, or about minus 100 Fahrenheit. At this point, Earth would be so cold that it would cause the oceans to freeze from the top down. But the lower depths of the oceans would be insulated by the very ice that traps heat beneath it and would remain liquid for decades, maybe longer. The deep sea ecosystems built around hydrothermal vents could survive for a while, protected from the collapse above. But even those would eventually wither without the sun's gravitational influence, as tectonic activity would also eventually grind to a halt. Plant life would perish quickly. Photosynthesis would cease instantly, cutting off the base of every food chain on the planet. Plants, trees and algae, everything that draws life from sunlight would begin to die. And as they perish, so too would the oxygenation of our atmosphere. Herbivores would starve within weeks. Carnivores would survive a little longer feeding on the desperate and starving plant eaters along with their dead corpses. But the entire global food chain would crumble fast, similar to dominoes falling down one after another. Within a few weeks, global agriculture would collapse. Stored food might extend survival for a time, but it wouldn't be for too long. Civilizations would fragment as governments struggled to maintain order in a world rapidly entering an extreme deep freeze. Populations would begin to starve and panic would quickly set in. There would be mass migrations to the equator, or better yet, into the Earth itself. Underground facilities powered by nuclear or geothermal energy might offer brief sanctuaries. But these would be limited in space and resources, unable to sustain more than a few thousand people. 99.9% .9 of humanity would have nowhere to go. There would be panic and desperate attempts at survival, bringing out extreme behaviors and most likely the very worst in most human beings. And remember, everyone and everything now exists in a world that is completely black, dark and without any light whatsoever. Think about that and imagine what that would do to a human's psyche. Cold, famine and chaos would sweep the globe in a wave of extinction in a matter of two or three weeks after our sun stopped giving its warmth. Electric grids would fail quickly in a matter of days or even less. Solar panels would be all but useless. Fossil fuel reserves would become a very precious commodity as people tried to heat homes, power lights, or maintain critical infrastructure. Those lucky enough to have access to nuclear power might cling to a frozen and sterile life, but only for a short time. Deep underground, in bunkers or insulated geothermal shelters, small pockets of humans might survive for years, even a few decades for some. 
but there would be no way to rebuild what had been lost. The Earth is dying, and every living organism is going with it. It would actually take millions of years for Earth's surface to become as cold as Pluto, as the Earth's core and mantle would continue to radiate heat, slowing the cooling process significantly. In a few million years, temperatures would fall to a lethal minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 240 degrees Celsius. But there's more, and something that may even be far worse. The Sun isn't just a source of heat and light, it's the mass at the center of our solar system. Its gravity holds Earth, and everything else, in orbit. The delicate balance that keeps our planet moving around the Sun would come to an end. If this scenario included our Sun completely disappearing, then Earth and every other celestial body in our solar system would be shot out into interstellar space. It would become a rogue planet, a silent wanderer in the endless expanse of our cold, empty universe. For any survivors, the psychological horror of drifting in interstellar space without a star, in complete and utter darkness, is hard to overstate. Other planets would follow the same fate. Jupiter and its moons would grow dark. Saturn's rings would vanish in shadow. The outer gas giants Neptune and Uranus, which already receive little light, would become impossible to see with the naked eye. The solar system as we know it would be reduced to lifeless rock, ice and gas. Each planet would eventually drift away from each other, never to be seen again. Would there be any way to survive this epic apocalypse? Underground cities powered by nuclear fusion could sustain life for a few years, perhaps even one or two generations. But without sunlight, we lose more than just our food and heat. We lose circadian rhythm. We lose the sky. We lose time itself, as measured by the passage of day and night. Our species evolved under the warm gaze of a yellow star. Without it, we would find ourselves stranded in a universe that is cold, draped in complete darkness, adrift in a galaxy, vast beyond our ability to fully understand. Humans have always tied sunlight to life, hope and meaning. Nearly every culture has linked the sun to God's creation and purpose. If the sun suddenly went dark or even disappeared, it would shake the foundations of how we see ourselves. Would we fight to survive, trying to exist in this new merciless cold and dark existence? Or would we slowly give up as we forget the memory of a world that once was? But the reality is, our sun will not simply turn off or just vanish. Yes, it will die, but slowly, predictably, and billions of years from now. I'd like to thank you for joining us on our exploration of what would happen if the sun suddenly disappeared, and I invite you back for our next episode of A Godless Universe.